once we made sure that we had copied our informix product from left side panel to right side respective linux box the next thing is let me open that terminal let me open that terminal this is my vm this is the ip address and if i open the vm and if i type the ip address here let me right click copy paste it here open root and password where did i copy this product into mount cd in comics let me create a directory here called make dir product let me move this star file to product the next thing i have to do is extract this star file extract this star file the command is star space hyphen x for extract p for verbose f says it's a file it started extracting let me open another terminal right click and duplicate session root password now what i do is i'll go to the same informix directory i'll create a directory for my informix home what is informix home once i install this the product is going to go into whatever the directory I specify here. Call dot one is our product, so I'm going to say the directory name as IDS one to one. Okay, and another important thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a directory for storage storage for our informix database server now i am going to change the ownership to informix to informix okay this brings to me an important point that we need a user we need a user as informix and we need a group as informix these are the prerequisites for installation how do i create a group it's a group add hyphen hyphen gid let me give any random number to the group informix when i now grab for informix in etc group the last line should be this guy when i say cat etc group the last line is whatever the one i have added just now now the next important thing is i am going to add a new user informix with the user id as 199 inside the group called informix uh, the next thing is change the password before that if you want to see the password file which has the informix in its file as a last line because we have just added this guy now the next thing is i'll change the password for informix password is password only password is password only once i have added both user id as informix and group as informix the next thing i need to do is i need to change the ownership for the storage directory change owner informix informix as storage i assume you are familiar with all these unix basics commands if not we can have a separate class on them to understand because the unix fundamentals are our linux fundamentals are very important for our successful career in informix dba okay now if you look at another screen our extraction completed what it does here is it extracts a bunch of files 
client server product this is an um, this has all the odbc drivers and all that which is a front end tool which has a esql c program which will help you to connect to our database so ids install ids stands for informix dynamic server this is our actual tar file jdbc product and if you go to server so this has a documentation stuff uh, with the basic mission notes what to be considered before we start doing our setup now the next step we have to do here is come back to the product directory and run this ids underscore install the first prerequisite we need to make sure is before we install this there are various ways of installation you can go for a gui installation you can go for a normal installation you can go for a response file installation but since i cannot show you in a gui mode here because of x windows stuff i am doing a normal installation the normal installation is as simple as running this simple command This is uh, doing the extraction. Let it go. Let it go. It, it's going to take some time. It's going to take some time. But it is going to install a bunch of products and it is going to ask us few questions such as where do you want to install our Informix product? Right? Do we want to create Informix server. No, we don't want to create Informix server instance. We'll create it manually. I'll show you the process how to create it manually. It is now trying to launch the installer. So this is the first question I got. It is saying that getting started information. It is saying the getting started information. So all I'm going to do is I'm just simply uh, press the enter. Now it's going to ask me whether I am going to agree with the license saying that it's like 90 days and we cannot use it for our working purpose all the uh, general license terms i'm going to say s yes. now it is going to ask me that installation path where i'm going to install this product where is my path this is the path yes this is correct if you look at i'm installing this whole product as a root user what is that I want? I want to go with a typical installation. It will install all the things instead of custom. Enter the host name for your mission. This is Linux 2. If I don't enter anything and just press enter it is going to take the default one and it will also try to create a web server there is a, a product called oat which will help us to administer linux sorry administer our informix product through web so for that it will also go ahead and create try to create this but unfortunately it won't be successful enable the password production yeah just say yes just say password is password password is password now 
now it's going to again ask licensing terms for other product this is for a dynamic server this is a licensing terminology for our informix dynamic server our informix server now what i'm going to do here is it, it threw me a question that do you want me to create a database server instance no i don't want the installations to create instance itself i will give my instance later so i will show you how to create an instance so choose an option to here choose an option to and press enter now it will show you what are all the products it is going to install so and how much is the disk space required and we have required this much and available is so on so so we are good so just press enter final reminder it is going to install in this directory just press enter this is going to take like two to five minutes of time With my experience in IBM Informix, DB2, Oracle and various other data warehousing products too, Informix has a simplest, simplest setup. It's just like that. You, know, you are just up and running in like a matter of 10 minutes. Right? The installation, the extraction, installation, setup. You will notice it this year. Once these hyphens, hyphens reaches this percentage, you are done with installation. I'm going to pause my recording and I'll enable it once it reaches the 100% so that we don't have to wait ideally for those two minutes in the recording itself. If you look at our installation is complete and it said that the installation of bundle is complete but some errors occurred during the installation. So it said that Informix is successful, CSDK is successful, JDBC drivers are successful, OAT tool is successful. But where are those errors came from? Just press enter to exit the installation. We should now go and see the log files. We should now go and see the log files for any fail messages. Now if I go to other terminal, this is other directory right this is the directory where i have installed my informix product so there are bunch of log files this directory has a bunch of log files if i go to the same one here each log file talks about one product installation if i grab for fail out of these log files yeah it, it is failed to start Apache web server but anyway this is out of the scope for this training and we don't get into this Apache server installation or open admin tool installation okay we can ignore this message basically that's what I am trying to say so this is the directory where our product got installed this is the directory where our IBM Informix product got installed now the next thing is to do the setup to start an instance or to create an instance so far what we have done is we have downloaded the informix product we have ftp'd the product to mount informix directory then we have extracted the product then we have installed the product the prerequisites for installation is we should have a user id as informix and group id as informix if you go back one directory above and do ls hyphen l the ownership for this is changed the ownership for this ids one to one is changed even though root created this directory the ownership has been changed to informix and informix 
by the installation by the installation of course this is what we changed it using change mod command but this got changed by informix now in my next video what i am going to show you is i will log in as a informix user and i'll create an instance for us so that we can do a practice on the same instance